Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the news of the main event for amateurs here, round five. First, East Coast Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be huge for everybody's race here. All 22 riders are on the gate or close to becoming on the gate. We have a lot of color in there with Husqvarna's and KTM's leading it. We only have one Honda out there. One Honda was able to make the uh, main event. You know, there's always that one oddball. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get active. Let's get right into it. 15 second card is down. Ladies and gentlemen, what can we do? 21, can you do something for me? Shout to HSM, Ariel. Here's the main event. Rev those injuries. Drop that gate. Here we go. Go, go, go. Ladies and gentlemen, they are off for the main event here at Detroit 250 Championship. Whole shot sent to Leonard. Sent to Leonard. Looks like Leonard's getting active, but so many people go down. That's more carnage I've ever seen than Heat 2 or the LCQ. Nobody was able to make it through. But now two Husqvarna's were actually able to make it. Now we have a battle, ladies and gentlemen, as they try to pull through. Going through the first whoop section, ladies and gentlemen, one Husqvarna takes off. KTM's gonna have to try to make it through. Can he fight? Can he fight? He is. As everybody tries to make it through the first section, one Husqvarna is having a hard time. As he goes over the Supercross, double. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like Masty followed by Myth and a couple of J. Your riders. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. As everybody tries to make it through the Supercross double, we do have 15 minutes plus one. Let's head down to the track map right now. Let's see what's going on down there. Let's go to your leader, Masty. First actual qualifying round, and he's out front leading the charge. He's not looking to stop at all. A little off, a little off. Looks like I gave him a little bit of the streamer curse while Jay is gonna go ahead and fly past. Not too much of a mistake. He did not go down. He just kind of messed up. That's okay. Followed by Myth. Myth is not too far behind. Also followed by Dylan and Five Resurrected. That is your top five at the moment. Shorts is trying to get to a top five with JP not too far behind. Taco trying, pressuring up, going to go ahead and blitz those whoops to the best of his ability. Lidman, Hamp, all right there, trying to get active. That falls off your top 10, ladies and gentlemen. Points are going to be huge for East Coast. This is our first round. We're going to have to see a lot of new riders in here. Masty, once again, trying to put his name up on that board. Looks like he's messing up. Goes down by a Husky. I don't know who that was. That was Myth. Myth actually did give a little toe tap. Toe tap drag swag. Looks like Myth is now on the prowl to get to Jay. Looks like we're gonna have to battle. See, Jay literally is out front. He might have cuts though, detrimental to Myth, to his game. Myth, not too far off, getting a little off sidetracked with JB, not too far behind. Looks like Masty went pretty far behind. Now he's in the nose, but he's gonna have to play a lot of catch up. Let's go over to Dylan Blaze, MX. Looks like he's trying to make it in. Look, a nice little freaking back break action that I've seen going up there. Looks like he has some massive willy. Amazing willy front flip. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if he would have landed that, that would have been easy mode of a lifetime. He was looking like skills through that absolute freaking section. That was absolutely amazing. Myth still out front looking to lead the charge. We do have Zertz trying to get into a top 10 position. Looks like he's going to be battling with a couple riders. Masty still trying to make it through. I think Masty right now, jitters are high. He's trying to make, you know, something out of nothing and try to say, hey, I belong here, you know? This is my first time qualifying, but I belong here. I'm willing to put in the work. I've been putting in the work. Let's get active. Top 10 salvage. I think he'd be happy for his first time in here. That's always a good time. Let's uh, head down. Let's see. Looks like Hamp was able to make it almost to a top three position. Looks like he's coming for Lidman right now. Looks like Lidman's having a hard time through the whoops. Hamp's going to go ahead and take that spot. Lidman goes down. Hamp in a top three spot now. JB's playing. Looks like a lot of carnage. A lot of carnage inside the sand section. That's huge. He's got a Poboso slide right now. This ain't the electric slide, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan trying to salvage for a top 10. Massey gets pushed back tremendously. Looks like the nerves are pushing. Let's go down to Cooper. Let's find where Leonard's at. Leonard trying to rail, going to go over the Supercross triple. Trying to see if he can play a little catch up. To maybe salvage a top five. We do have 11 minutes left in this race. That's a lot of time left while well, Myth out there trying to lead the charge. Not a stop in sight. Looks like he's blitzing, munching through the whoops. Shorts not too far behind with Hamp right on his backbone. He's talking about the Barker Rudy on the only Honda out there on the field. He's trying to show that that bike is absolutely doable. You got to give the man respect. You got to give him credit for being an outcast right now. 
Taco trying to battle with Leonard, actually. It looks like Dylan kind of trying to come up on the charge. Resurrected not too far. He's battling with Leonard and Taco right now. Looks like we have a battle for 6th, 7th, and 8th place. Dylan not too far behind. Lillian passing up. Looks like Macy made some actual headway. Going to try to get back into that top 10. Looks like Hamps on the charge to try to get Shorts. This could be a battle for second place right now, ladies and gentlemen. If Shorts does not get on that gas, go brap, brap. We might see a new person trying to battle and fight to get to Myth, but Myth is not looking any stop in sight as Hamp. He's been really huge inside the whoop section right now, trying to get up on ha on Shorts. Shorts does mess up just a bit, but Hamp's still right there, battling, battling as they both go through. Hamp going to be able to try to make it as they both go over this super cross double. We have a battle. They go both go down. Looks like Shorts messed up Hamp's game. This could be huge. He's got to let him have it. He's got to let Hamp pass. Looks like we do have a second place runner up. Only Honda 250 out there, ladies and gentlemen. He's making a name for any Honda guys. Could this be a change? Could we see more people, excuse me, could we see more people start to run up on a Honda if this guy can continue and hold a podium right now? Literally coming from the LCQ spot to actually making second right now in the main that's huge guys that's huge for his game shorts not too far behind he looks like he's got to play some catch up but Littman trying to get into the action right now he's not too far off either he said hey i'm a um you know podium contender as well i'm here to play ball and we're gonna play some ball ladies and gentlemen let's head down to leonard leonard looked like he backed off getting a little bit of a slide gonna mess up a little bit of masty which actually is trying to get into the top 10 which he does it's gonna make a beautiful pass on leonard it's all about the whoop speed now can he make a really good whoop speed let's find out ladies and gentlemen he's not any stop he's called munch munch yo give me some captain crunch no kizzy leonard playing catch up he's gonna take all that outside see if he can make a jump and a charge while he does have lillian and um resurrect rumple right on his backbone barking Ladies and gentlemen, we have a race. Let's go in between right here where Dylan has almost made a top five. We have a couple riders in between. We do have a battle right now for fifth, sixth, and fifth, sixth, and seventh. Dylan goes down. Dylan goes down. Gets red, resurrected a good kind of, you know, edge off his plate. Willing to be, battle Taco right behind him. Now we have a good battle for sixth, sixth seventh place. Can Taco make the pass and may almost get secure a spot to try to get into that fifth runner-up? Top five is huge for a lot of guys for running in points right now. What can we see really here and happen? Why, wow, seven minutes, eight minutes are left on the clock. Looks like they passed up to uh, Resurrected Shorts. Not too far away. Could be potentially seeing a top four. Coming up, down he goes! He goes down, Resurrected, they're gonna try to make that pass! He goes down, JB! JB's right behind Taco's actually gonna make the pass. He's right there, battling with Shorts. Now we have a battle for top four, five, six. Ladies and gentlemen, passes, everything's happening all so right in front of us. How do we like, you know, comprehend? How do we let things happen like this right in front of our eyes? Oh, looks like Taco Shorts goes down. Taco's having a battle and ride for his life. Resurrected over the berm. That gives Leonard a chance. Excuse me, JB right there on Taco's backbone. Why, right, let's go up to the leader, Myth. Not a stop in sight. Having a really great time. Hamp, not too far off. He has a lot of catch up to do. Seven minutes left. A lot could happen, ladies and gentlemen. While Capitan, a man, my own teammate, trying to lead a charge. Looks like he was pretty far back. Did not see him in the top 10 at all. Had a pretty bad start, but he's up to six. He's right there on JB. No, he's not. Actually, Capitan is in six. Who is that right in front of him? Looks like Rumpel. He's battling to try to get Rumpel. Maybe Rumpel has a little bit of cuts. This might be huge for their game, but Capitan's on a charge right now. Gonna go side by side on the Supercross is a triple. Ladies and gentlemen, he kind of gets choked, choked up by Rumpel. Looks like our top three actually is out away from everybody. Littman trying to make a charge onto Hamp. Not too far off, actually, as Hamp goes over the Supercross double. Littman right there. Top three is in a 10-second gap from Myth of your um, leader. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge for everybody's game right now. While Taco trying to hold off Capitan, he's right there. He's hungry for that position. While JB, JB and uh, Capitan battle for fourth and fifth right now. Top five would be huge for everybody's game to get some really great points. Ladies and gentlemen, what can we do? Can we can we stop? Is there any stop in sight? Are we going to see more points changes and lead changes as this race goes on? With six minutes left on the clock, let's go to Cooper. Out right outside of a top ten finish, Masty was actually able to make it back into a really good spot i like i said it's really good for this kid to be able to salvage a top 10 on his first qualifying round you got to give some praise while masty tries to bark down on leonard not too far off the charge shorts being able to actually get to 11th place looks like cooper did fall a little bit so now we do have a battle to try to get into that top 10 maybe a little bit of different positions shorts isn't going to come up without a fight he was all the way up in six looks like he had a hard time fourth actually i believe he was all the way up in fourth at one second so he's got a lot of ground to cover looks like a lot of you know Pobobo cheese was might been happening to him. Let's go over the JB. Looks like JB and Swix having a little bit of battle with Rumpel right there. Rumpel's not too far off of Capitan. He wants that top five. Like I said, top five is a huge thing here in amateur. Work on the craft, work on your speed, work on your skills. Capitan coming from the nosebleeds now is actually on the charge to get Taco. Taco's not too far ahead. What can Capitan said? He said he was hitting quad quad this whole time. Goes for the quad. Goes for quad again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge timing that he's making up with a triple out. He's right there on Taco's backbone. Could we potentially see someone going for, for fourth place, maybe even a possible third if people start going down? A lot of time left. With that being said, looks like Taco does have a lot of cuts to be, um, met, you know, reckoned with and he's right there he's barking up on him looks like he messes up just a bit in the sand is this gonna ruin capitan it does ruin capitan looks like taco's able to fight off due to due to them rubbing and um rubbing and racing looks like litman was actually able to catch up on hamp and take the spot we do have a second place runner now Looks like Lindman might have some pretty bad cuts right now. So we have Hamp still in second place. They're actually pretty tied with um, runner up. So Lindman has to break away if he wants to secure a second place with Hamp right on his back. I mean, he's barking. He's going roo, 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 roo. while he goes through the whoops. Can this be huge? He's going to have to slow up just a bit. He has to respect that he was in his line as they both battle. We do have a battle now for second and third place. What is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen? Little battle, both double. One doubles, goes for the triple. Looks like this is going to be huge for Ham's race. Actually, he's right back in it. Wasn't able to get the jump out, though. Was not able to get that jump out. Looks like Lidman lives to see another day, but Hamp's keeping it close. If Hamp can keep it close like this for the next three minutes, he will take him by cuts and will have a second place podium. Capitan, 20 seconds off, 27 seconds off. Looks like top three's going to be hard to chase down with three minutes left so we have to you know respectfully understand that now a battle for top five is really what they're going to have to salvage here taco battling with capitan taco does have um cuts but capitan now is in front of him and that's going to be huge for his game but taco is in a top five or transfer position of having a really good spot of points he does go down swick's not too far off with rumple barking up on that ktm he said he's been having feeling really confident all week on that freaking bike capitan also also did make the switch from the KTM looks like I kind of encouraged him to get onto that to that Husqvarna and he's looking pretty nice he's actually able to salvage some really good points he is in fourth place Littman looks like he falls behind a little bit what happened he might have went down Hamp is now in second with Breeze and I mean full Breeze to try to go catch Myth looks like Myth is kind of keeping that 10 second lead he's kind of cruising you know he's in a good spot he doesn't have to push too hard but he can you know give a little effort I think the biggest thing here is him just keeping up on his whoops speed goes down as i speak of it might have gave him the the curse might have gave him the streamer curse that hamp is not too far he's now entering into the whoops speed guys two minutes left we might have a challenge on our head to see who's gonna take first place podium who's gonna take first place hamp goes down i give him the streamer curse Lindman not too far now he's gonna go can we have a, a three for three inside of the sand section no Lindman was able to capitalize capitan trying to actually hit the charge now and make something out of nothing and get a top three podium with a minute and 30 seconds left let's go into our top 10 jb kind of does fall back he is holding a top 10 spot while cooper 
right in front of him actually might have cuts cuts might you know play a huge factor but cooper might be in a top 10 spot now with masty showing full charge showing full initiative trying to hold on to a top 10 spot why he kind of messes up just a bit and hits a tough block but he's starting to bark down and chase down swix at, as close as possible as massey can make it to top five that is huge for his game ladies and gentlemen while dylan not too far behind trying to get into a top 10 spot he's five seconds off from jb and cooper this could be huge while 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 jb B slides gets a freaking Bobo cheese Cooper Cooper gets slides and hits now too as well looks like both of them had some time with that super cross um triple Dylan now in a top 10 position so many lead chains have ha has happened Schwartz was able to um salvage a top 10 again he was a little bit out of the top 10 Masty trying to fight off Schwartz because now Dylan Cooper not too far away and they're all trying to fight while Capitan is trying to break off Lidman 30 seconds off before myth but ladies and gentlemen with that all being said Hamp was able to cut down a 12 second deficit to a five and a half second on myth where is myth at? just barely getting through the uh, through the whoops into the sand section now this is going to be used for um him to try to capitalize as he tries to make it through he has to control the bike right now that is a lot of power on that on that honda 250 can he control can he can he stay calm composure ladies and gentlemen he hits the double in single off He's got to stay consistent. He's got to stay motivated. Littman, not too far away either. Capitan still battling. He goes down. Looks like Rumpel's going to take fourth place. Taco, not too far behind either. Rumpel. Rumpel right there. Going to go ahead and try to secure a fourth place. Masty was able to move up to a fifth spot. I told you about this kid. First freaking round, he's able to qualify, and he's out here running top five with Capitan not too far. Two HSM teammates, my teammates at that, battling for a top five. Capitan goes down. Pressure's getting to him. Rumpel gone. Masty on the charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. This is huge. We have battles on the hand. Taco's willing to take all those spots away. Ladies and gentlemen, we have such such a battle on our hands by so many different lead changes ladies and gentlemen let's go to dylan while he tries to stay and secure a top 10 spot cooper's not too far off the charge shorts right there we have a battle ladies and gentlemen to try to get to this top 10 while there's going to be so much lappers they're trying to maneuver through so much battle so much people scrubbing connecting into each other let's go down pamp not too far off myth myth is still with that five and a half second myth is just kind of keeping calm cool and collected with last lap cheese not too far ahead Hamp was able to cut down to a four and a half second. So now he's cut down from a whole second onto Myth. I think these whoops are going to be huge. If a lapper can get out of Hamp's way, he might have a really fighting chance here. He's got to be careful. He's got to play it smart. He's got to be okay with this Myth. Where's he at? Barely going over the Supercross double. Hamp is on the charge. He's got to maneuver and he's got to sway through all of this carnage of lappers. Ladies and gentlemen, Masty on the charge to try to catch Rumple. Last lap cheese is now into effect for a lot of riders coming up. Limp. Lidman. Third place. Place. Rumpel not too far off of him just got out of the whoops Rumpel's gonna be looking for a charge to get Lidman on this last lap while Hamp not too far trying to go get Myth but Myth is just too controlled right now with a four second deficit he's looking nice he just has to make it and play it right play his cards right make it through the last little section in the whoops and he'll be just fine but Hamp not too far off I mean he is breaking wind with that bike right now ladies and gentlemen while Rumpel not too far off trying to go get Lidman right now which is Lidman let me go down Bro on the charge on the charge he takes over the podium position can he hold it though he messes up Massey not too far away he is pretty far away Rumpel's able to take a charge but Myth Myth actually taking the um, points lead and the win Hamp right behind was able to cut down a 12 second deficit and come down to two seconds ladies and gentlemen that is huge Hamp had some charge while Rumpel trying to secure himself a podium position been on the charge all day your podium Podium. Rumpel! Lidman not too far. Got the last lap. Cheese. Massey trying to secure off of Capitan right now. Capitan's on the charge. Capitan is on the charge. What's going to happen? Last lap. Cheese. Massey with a top five finish on his first qualifying round. Capitan in six. Oh my God. As everybody tries to make it through, Cooper Dylan was able to secure a top 10. Taco with your top 10. Shorts barely just out there. 
ladies and gentlemen thank you for choosing ibs kelso's commentary myth with the overall race podium win ladies and gentlemen w man hamp was it fighting back maybe another lap he could have been uh potentially taking missed spot only honda 250 out there rumple lidman fell down off of that tire tap spot right before the huge uh section lidman fell off a of last lap trees rumple was able to take that spot Top five, Masty, Lidman, Rumple, Hamp, and Myth. With also following with your top ten, we have Capitan, Swix, Cooper, Dylan, Taco. Holy cow.